Are you asking me to step in? To step into Christmas, let's join together. But I picked up the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar as well. Oh my gosh, look at all my goodies. So I actually treated myself. I just love a Christmas set. Definitely finished this this week. I'm obsessed, it's so good. Hey you guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. You guys are gonna be so buzzing because it's bloody December. December, where the bloody hell did you come from? I thought I would start the vlog with oh, a good old Glossier haul. I'm buzzing, not gonna lie. Plenty of makeup, skincare that I needed to stock up on. So yeah, I'm gonna start this vlog, video vlog. I'm gonna start the vlog with a haul. Probably gonna make this vlog last over a couple of days because I've got some like book recommends. Sorry, my fringe is just... Yeah, got a couple of like book recommendations to do and I'm kind of going to film it on my lunch breaks like throughout the week so please bear with. Um, it's probably going to be like a bit of a weekly kind of vlog. I feel like you guys are going to love that because I always get asked where my weekly vlogs are. So here is a nice little chilled homey vlog um, for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, I am getting my fringe cut very soon by the way. I'm off for a hair haircut next week. I am actually going to go a little bit darker, like up at the root. I mean, I am dark at the root anyway, but like more of a chestnutty brown, chestnutty, and then gonna keep the blonde at the bottom because I do kind of love the blonde a little bit. Um, it's just not very wintry, you know? So without further ado, I feel like I'm in a bit of a weird place. But if I just move you there, let's vlog, girl. Okay, so first up, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to a little set. Glossier are doing like some Christmassy limited edition sets. Um, oh my gosh. I just love a Christmas set. That candle smells fresh. It smells like a spa, you know? So in this particular set, you got a little candle. And then also, you got this set of bath, what are they called? Bath pods. So I'm not sure about you, but when I was younger, when I used to stay at my grandma's, she used to get me these bath pods and they would go in the bath and like melt in the bath and make it smell nice. Very weird, a bit random. And I've like never seen them since I was a little girl with my grandma. And when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, Grandma Shirley, she'd be so proud. So I picked them up mainly because they reminded me of my childhood and I've not seen them since. So yeah, how cute is that little tub though? Love it. Should tell you what I love? A Christmas set or a birthday set where you get like packaging with it that you can actually keep and use. Like this box is absolutely beautiful. Like it's all kind of like engraved with Gossier's brand, which is beautiful. But like, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to use this box again, unless this kind of comes out of it, which I might be able to, but that tub for example is great because I'll be able to use the tub again, you know? Little set, little Christmas set, little Christmas set. So that's the first thing. If you've never ordered from Glossier before, basically every time you place an order, they send it in cute little, well, not very little, bubble wrap kind of bags. They're really cool and I actually use them as my makeup bags after. So very handy, very, very lovely. You do get the option to not get packaging, but I always do because I'm like, well, I actually use it. It's not as if I just took it in the bin. So yeah, don't hate me because you ain't me. No, I'm joking. Don't hate me because I've decided to keep the packaging. I did stock up on a few bits, I'm not gonna lie, such as the stretch concealer and the perfecting skin tint. The stretch concealer is fab. Um, I literally live, live for this concealer. It's the only concealer I use. Probably not the best day to show you what it's like because I've been blowing my nose all day. So you can't really see how good it is, but it is absolutely lovely. And this is the packaging. Comes in a little, little tub like that. Super cute. I always get for reference, if you're bothered, G9 or G8. G8's a little bit lighter, um, so that G9 is good for if you've got a bit of fake tan on. And then this is the skin tint. I went for G8 this time. I'm not a tanned queen, um, not the tanned queen that I once was, so that's a little bit lighter. That skin tint is lovely. It's like a very soft, non cakey moisturizer skin tint that just is a great alternative to foundation if you're not that bothered for foundation. 
I don't hate foundation, don't get me wrong, but if I was to choose, I'd choose something lighter. So for the past like two years, I've not worn foundation, literally not had foundation on my skin for two years. And I've just worn that skin tint and a little bit of stretch concealer. So they're like my everyday items that I would have bought anyway. So I thought I'm gonna get them with 20% off. Did I say that? They offered 20% discount for Black Friday, which is awesome. And I think by the time this video goes up, it will have stopped. However, I've got a code that you can get 10% off, which is still very good. So if you wanted to try a few little bits, I will bob the code. It's not like a code, it's like a link in the description box. And if you like copy that link, put it in your URL, and buy from that, it will automatically apply the 10% discount in checkout. So it's pretty good. Don't know what my hands are doing today, by the way. Very all over the place. I also picked up this. This is cloud paint in the shade Dusk. This is, again, my everyday blush. It's a cream blush, which if you're not a cream kind of person and you always go for like a powder, bear with me because this is insane. I was always powder. I never liked cream highlight or anything. I was always like powder, powder, powder. And then I tried that and I was like, right, okay, I'm converted. And I've never ever worn a powder blush since. I mean, I am a little bit over the top with Glossier. Like I rave about it all the time, but that's because it's completely changed how I do makeup. And like my Alex drawers are full of gorgeous, amazing makeup and I love it but Glossier is just so natural and I love it. It means you can wear natural looking makeup without feeling like you've got loads on. So I thought I would try another one of the Cloud Paint um, cream blushes. This is in Beam, which is a little bit more peachy, which I'm very excited to try. As I say, I wear that Dusk all the time. That's more bronzy, I've got it on today. Um, I've nearly run out though, hence why I ordered another one. But yeah, I wouldn't mind like a peachy blush. Love the packaging as well, packaging is also in my little bag of goodies some of these bits are presents so i'm not going to show the bits that i got for presents because i don't want anyone who may watch this video like to be honest not many of my family and friends watch my videos they never have a few of my friends have always watched my videos but like my family have never really watched videos but just in case they were to watch i won't like share what i got them i picked a couple of samples as well these were in the bag i got one of the body hero like wash oils it's like um i've picked it up before it's really nice it's like a shower oil and it's it's lovely so i picked up a sample of that and then they actually sent me four of these i'm pretty sure i didn't pick four but they sent me samples of four different of the cloud paints which i am very excited to try there's a very pinky one there i wonder what that one is like so yeah you always get to choose a few samples as well which is nice so i got a few serums but i'm again not sharing them on here because some of them I'm gonna give to other people. So I'll pop that over there. The one that I can show is this one. It's Super Glow. Now I have actually tried, I think it's Super Bounce, which is another one of their serums and I absolutely love it. If you watched my last Glossier haul, you will have seen it and you will know that I love it because I put it on my Instagram the other day as well. And I wanna try a few of their different serums and I'm obsessed with looking glowy, like, that's just my thing at the minute. I want my skin to look glowy and fresh. So I picked out, if it's ever gonna focus, this one, which is the Glossier Super Glow Vitamin C and Magnesium Serum, um, which I'm very intrigued to try. And again, I'm in love with the packaging. I love it. So yeah, I picked up that one. I'm not gonna show the others because I'm gonna give them, gift them? I'm gonna gift them away. I also picked two of the Balm.coms out. Balm.com is a lip balm and you can also use it as like cuticle balm or if you've got like, I don't know, a spot or something, you can put balm on it and a lot of people do. I have been known to use balm.com in the past for my dry elbows, <laughs> which is so sad, but I have. This is one of the ones that I chose. Love this packaging. Look at the side of it as well. This is the new limited edition one. It's called Cookie Butter and it's literally it smells. I'm just gonna open it and give it a smell. Oh my God, it smells like cookie dough. It smells gorgeous. That is what it looks like. This is another one that I picked up. This is the mint flavored one, which I've never tried before. Love the packaging. Love the like lime green color. Let's give it a smell. Oh my God, that smells like that smells like toothpaste. I'm actually not a massive fan of 
mint like the smell of mint which is super sad and i know i sound like a five-year-old kid but i'm not apparently this one like this particular one has like a cooling effect which makes so much sense because i don't know about you but anything like mint flavored to me does like feel refreshing probably because it's the smell of toothpaste but that's why i got it because i thought it would be cool for like winter when your lips are a little bit dry and you want to put something like hydrating on there yeah so that was my thought process behind that and that was everything that i picked up today look at the size of that bloody makeup bag i love it i also love that to gift stuff in um my mum's got a few of these just like at christmas and birthdays and stuff i'll bob a few like makeupy bits or something in the little the little bags and i love them so yeah that's everything that i got from glossier i'm literally obsessed oh my gosh look at all my goodies yeah so happy with everything as always and yeah like i said if you want to get a discount on any little bits that you want to try i would highly recommend the concealer if you want like a natural concealer look they also have amazing brow products as well but i i didn't need any so i didn't get any this time so yeah it's worth checking out and also the serums are amazing I'm probably gonna head out for some lunch now. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow or another day that I pick up the vlog camera. This is gonna be very like higgledy piggledy, but I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you guys are good, by the way. I feel like I got straight on with that vlog and didn't like ask how you guys are, but um, hope you're feeling good. I put a story on Instagram the other day and I was saying how like I've been so busy recently. Like that's probably why I've not vlogged so much. People have been asking like where I am and stuff on YouTube and. I think the reason I've not been vlogging is because I've just been so busy with life. Like life has just been so crazy. But I've purposefully not got loads in my diary for December. That's not to say I'm gonna do Vlogmas or anything, but there probably will be a few more vlogs coming up over the next couple of weeks, over Christmas and stuff. Just because I'm like chilling at home and I love vlogging. Honestly, is there anything better than Lucas Aid Sport? I think not my friend. It's the 1st of December today, so happy December. Happy Christmas month. Are you asking me to step in? To step into Christmas, let's join together. We can watch the snow fall forever and ever. You drink a beer, man, come along with me. I am so excited, I've just unboxed. Sorry, I'm watching Made in Chelsea. If any of you guys watch Made in Chelsea, I hope you are as obsessed as I am. I'm honestly obsessed. Anyway, yeah, I've just unboxed day one of my advent calendars. So I've not actually shown you here on the vlogs. I very kindly got gifted this Glossy Box advent calendar, which is amazing. Love the packaging. And it's got some really, really good beauty bits in it. You also got, as well as the advent calendar, like a little magazine kind of thing, which tells you what is in the advent calendar, which is a bit of a spoiler, but I'm here for a spoiler. There is so much good stuff in there. I'm obsessed. Um, and from that, today was the LMS Pro Collagen Energizing Cleanser, which it's not focusing on right now, but that was um, today's like number one treat, anti-aging as well. So that was the Glossy Box one. I also picked up the, I say picked up as if it was just like a random little purchase, which it totally wasn't. It was 215 quid, but I picked up the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar as well. If you've not already seen it, this is what it looks like. Um, it's absolutely beautiful love the pink and the red it just looks amazing again with that one you got a little magazine which tells you everything that's in there but i won't give you any spoilers right now in day number one was this which is the jordan samuel skincare hydration mist which is in a glass bottle actually went through the little magazine um which you got with this one and wrote down little like prices of how much everything was just to be nosy so this is worth 12 pounds and it's meant to be really good um, and I'm very excited to try it. So yeah, in each little one you get like, you get a bit of tissue paper. So that came like that this morning. So really, really cute. Um, absolutely love the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. Peng! This was worth £975 and I paid £215 for it. And then I also picked up the Space and K Advent Calendar. I know, I know I've gone overboard. So yeah, in the Space and K, which was, I think it was 199 to buy, you got the Sunday Riley CEO Facial Oil and then also this little mini, which is a high-dose retinoid serum. So yeah, four little goodies from today, day number one. You didn't actually get a little magazine with the Space and K one, which I was a little bit gutted about because I loved like going through and writing how much 
everything is worth but yeah this is the current situation i don't really have enough room for them all so i might do a little bit of moving around over here of like my everyday use stuff so i can fit that over there because i think it will look really really cute having them all there anyway um happy december like i say i will do a couple of vlogs in december i am sure of like everything that is in the advent calendars and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun wanted to hop on here today to do like the little book recommendations but then sorry about all the clothes that's just hanging everywhere by the way it's just freshly washed stuff that I've not put away yet. But I actually got back home. I've been to the office this morning and I'm on my lunch break. That is the current situation. This jumper, by the way, I always get questions on it. It's from Wednesday's Girl. It was kindly gifted to me last year. I love Wednesday's Girl. They stock on ASOS, so they might still have it. I'm not sure, but it's got like baggy arms and I just love it. Anyway, so yeah, I was going to film like the book section of this video, but then I actually got back to a Space and K package. I don't want this vlog to be like me just showing you stuff that I've bought, but... It is Christmas, you know? So I actually treated myself for Christmas, like this was an actual Christmas present, to the Olaplex Beginners set. So I've never ever tried Olaplex um, and I'm very, very intrigued. In this one, you get the hair perfector, the shampoo, conditioner, and then a hair oil as well. It actually came um, really nicely wrapped and I've unwrapped it. So I'm very sorry that you didn't get to see me unwrap it. But yeah, how cute. I'm very, very intrigued about this. If you've tried Olaplex, please let me know in the comments and let me know what you think because I don't know. I am very into like self-care, hair care, skincare, makeup, you name it at the minute. I'm very into my product and... I don't know, like my hair looks fine, don't get me wrong, but I'm very intrigued as to see whether this actually improves the feel of it, like the healthiness of it, I guess. And obviously, every man and his dog has tried Olaplex, so I was like, hmm, kind of need to try it. I actually got this in the sales, and it was meant to be 60 quid, but I got it for 45, which I thought was quite good, considering that Olaplex is really expensive. And I'm very excited to try it. I love this Space and Care box as well. I'm a massive fan of Space and K if you've not already guessed. The advent calendar, I forgot to mention that one, like the creamy goldy one, came in this sleeve. Um, this is the beauty advent calendar and I honestly do not want to get rid of this, even though it's just a sleeve. But I don't want to get rid of it. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know, but I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, I came back to that and I also picked up from Cult Beauty in the sales. Hang on, I'll turn you around. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury. By the way, if you order anything from Cult Beauty, it comes in one of these cool boxes, um, which I love, I love this. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish um, Powder, which I'm going to show you now. I got it in the shade Medium, and this is what it looks like. I think you can see it really nicely in the light. It looks so lovely. I was just on the hunt for like a nice powder, even though my makeup is very, very natural. Oh my god, look at me. Hello! <laughs> yeah, like even though my makeup is very, very natural, I still do put a little bit of powder on because all of the cream products that I mentioned from Glossier are quite shiny. So I do need something to like matte my face a little bit because if I put cream concealer on, cream blush, and then leave it, like my, my face looks so shiny. So yeah, I picked this up with 25% off from Cult Beauty and I'm very excited to try it. Never ever owned any Charlotte Tilbury makeup before ever. And I think from memory, there was something Charlotte Tilbury in one of these two. Um, or it might even be the glossy box. I can't remember, but um, never owned anything Charlotte Tilbury, so this is very like special to me. So yeah, a few treats for me. I feel like I'm going to be treated every single day this month because of the advent calendars. If you're wondering what I have been doing this week, I've just been reading this, My Policeman by Bethan Roberts, and I'm obsessed. I started it on Sunday, um, and I am that much through. So I've read that side. That is what I've got left. I'm 65% of the way through, I think, according to my Goodreads. And I will definitely finish this this week. I'm obsessed. It's so good. Yeah, that's what I've been doing in all my spare time, just reading, reading, reading. I'm not a very fast reader. I feel like some of you will be like, um, you've literally been reading it for like three, four days and you've not finished it, which yeah, I'm not a very fast reader. So this is like quite fast for me. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of like sorting out to do with my bedroom. I'm going to rearrange this section here, as I said earlier because it looks so messy and then crack back on with work and I'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow maybe. Hello, welcome to a new day. Oh my gosh, have I got some explaining to do or what? So it's actually like five days later now. The reason it is so much later in the vlog, like so much later since I last vlogged is because as you can kind of hear, I have been so 
full of cold and like the sniffles and everything bad in the world. Yeah, I've been pretty poorly. So I just thought, you know what, I'm not gonna vlog. I'm gonna wait until I feel a bit better. And it's now Sunday um, and I do feel a little bit better. Like my face, this is like the most Oh my god, look at the state of my bronzer. Ignore like the amount of bronzer I've gotten today. It's the first time that I've ever used like a cream bronzer, so bear with. But yeah, I thought I would just do like a last little section of the vlog wrapping up presents because I feel like it's one of the best ways to get in the Christmas spirit. I want to show you guys my wrapping paper for this year, my gift bags. Um, I won't be showing you what I've got people because spoilers but yeah i thought we could do a little christmas wrapping edition um edition section you know what i mean this actual vlog like the reason i started this vlog was because i wanted to do a book recommendations video which i still very much want to do but i feel like this vlog is so long now i sat for a bit this morning editing in bed and i'm already at like 20 minutes i thought you know what let's do some christmas wrapping and then we can do the book recommendations for 2021 in another vlog. I can do that in another couple of weeks or something before Crimbo. Or in between Crimbo and the year. Anyway, let's let's have a look at all of my Christmas Christmassy bits this year. Um I've just got some presents there. So for wrapping paper this year, I bought a couple of packs from Paper Chase. So this was the first set this one has got like the nutcracker guy on it i think that paper chase is quite overpriced um four pound fifty for three meters is a bit of a joke if i'm honest but i got that one this one has got little christmas trees on this is also from paper chase i think i did a bit of a three for two situation or it might have been two for one i can't remember but anyway yeah this was the two choices that i made i mean i appreciate they don't really go together but it doesn't matter um and then the other one that i got this is actually from aldi it's actually really really good i wrapped this present in it and I really like it and it was 99p for like 10 meters or something which is much better value than the paper chase ones but i do like having a few nice like nice wrapping papers um so yeah these were the two more expensive and this was the cheaper one but i love them all equally and then moving on to like gift bags and stuff this was one of the ones that i picked up this was from a little garden center that's um like nearby my house um i went uh last weekend and picked up a few bits so this was the first christmas bag design i got I got another one in that design that's a little bit smaller. Oh my god, I also found these from last year, which you might remember. But yeah, I got that one and then also that from last year, which is super cute. I also got some little like gift tags, like make your own gift tag things. They've got stickers, like literary stickers that you can write the name of the person on. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love those. I also wrapped a present up the other night and i just put the stickers like on the actual wrapping paper which looked really really cute so yeah they're like my few little little festive bits um that i'm gonna be like wrapping with i'm just gonna do a little bit of wrapping this morning i'm just gonna try to get through some presents for my boyfriend yeah i feel like with wrapping i really really enjoy it i love it but it is a bit of a backbreaker so i just tend to do them in like stages i'll do like one person and then i'll do friends then i'll do family then i'll do like nieces and nephews you know i i break it up so this morning is boyfriend project boyfriend so um yeah i guess sit back enjoy the time lapse that i'm about to film i am going to get gavin and stacy christmas special up on my ipad which i'm like halfway through i started watching it the other day oh my god i sound so croaky don't i but yeah i'm going to get the gavin and stacy christmas special up there this is the current situation wrap some presents oh my gosh i'm a sadder for wrapping presents and this is the annoying part of wrapping presents getting the labels off hello you guys oh my god <clears throat> so christmas wrapping has finished has completed so i actually just came to leon there is a new new leon near me i've had a little bit of food i did vlog it i tried to show you guys what i got but the light was so bright like the sun winter sun is unreal isn't it so it was shining so bright and i was like oh my god you guys are literally gonna be like leah i can't even see anything so um i'm now sat having a coffee i'm gonna head home i wanted to do like a mukbang but then the drive through was shut i had to go in it was all a bit of a faff and obviously you've got to wear a mask and stuff now so yeah this is me ended the vlog disappointingly because i was gonna like sit and 
chat to you guys whilst I ate. I've probably saved you having to watch me talk with my mouth full, so you're probably grateful. But um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching at this video. This is like the first time I've actually been out of my bedroom in this vlog, so cheers to that. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I hope you're all keeping well and safe as well this December. I will no doubt see you again on a vlog sometime soon, but um, until then, have a fabulous December. Like I say, um, stay safe and yeah, love you lots. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!